Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, uh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner, good guy, very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Come in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, OK? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great! Right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We, we got to meet him in the air. I... Uh, uh, okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, Where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. There's Oscar's business. That's bringing cash in. My stake in Oscar's thing ain't under the TP conglomerate umbrella. I want my own brand success. It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface is gonna give that to me. Just the plane I need to take on a heavily just oh. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio. Trouble. The Mary 
that Fort Zancudo is monitoring air traffic. I got the cargo plane right ahead of me! We're gonna use those weapons for no good, King! He'll be better in our hands! Are you planning on forcing them to land? Didn't I say we had to take them in the air if we're to have any kind of shot at this? I thought I said that. You did. It's just I don't see how you're going to... Ah, you'll see. I'm acutely aware of. Enough! You know, Ronald! Ronald! You there? Boy, I never thought I'd say this, let alone think it, but it's good to be working together again. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you back. We're a good team. Every team needs a leader, a leader, and a mindless follower or two. That's right, boss. mineral-rich warlord confiscating the weapons is practically a public service. Karmically, I'm... We're golden! What's not to be sure about? When you put it like that... Handle your end, okay? Fire! 
firing rockets? BB battle away! Oh my good god! Ah! What? There's been a change of personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field. Swapping radio channels. Over. Ronnie! The cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the max? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. These guys! Attention, Mary Weather Jet. We are under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Or you could diddle yourself! Hey, Ron! So, um, the frickin' Air Force are on me! Shit! Gain some altitude! They might not tangle with you up there! We'll see if that helps! Any offensive action will be met with overwhelming retaliation. I'm landing at Mackenzie Field. We can discuss this there, on the dirt, like men. Comply immediately. This is Captain P telling you to stroke it, pal. Understand the effort I've gone to be here, pal. This is your final warning. Divert now or be engaged. Hey, you wouldn't shoot me down anyway. Think of the ground casualties. It's a big plane, boss. You might want to gain some altitude.
Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. any telltale signs. Smell any funny spices? Я ничего не вижу, босс. Эй, придави документы. What? Паспорт давай, ебать, мам. I don't fucking understand you. А, да ты по-английски не шаришь? Что за хуйня с тобой? Я говорю, паспорт покажи. Все вы нелегалы как один. Ты по гражданским арестом, ты понял? Америка страна возможностей, а я воспользуюсь возможностью послать тебя обратно через границу, откуда ты приперся. What? <laughs> Very good, Joseph. Real fine. We'll make a civilian protector of our nation's borders from undesirable elements of you yet. Sorry, citizen, just a training exercise. Ah, okay. Well, I'm so glad that you patriots are out here defending this fine American desert sand. Well, thank you. When you could be in town fucking some girls and further destroying the gene pool. Hey. There's a real problem here. Да, люди мотивированы необходимостью прокормить свои семьи, едут сюда работать по черному за копейки и прут, прут в эту страну. It's a disaster. And that's why we form the Civil Border Patrol. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. My Patriot meter's going off. Huh? <laughs> come on, both of you. We've got some illegals over them hills. Ah. Come on, come on, you drive. Ah, you drive, let's go. Drive, get in the back. What's your name, citizen? I'm Joe, that there's Joseph. Trevor. Okay, Trevor. Well, it's saying we need to head for the Yellow Jack Inn. Oh, good. They love me in there. 
<laughs> I'm deaf for strong reading. The Patriot Meter predicts undesirables with up to 79% accuracy. <laughs> Surely this is a sick joke. I mean, I love hanging with freaks, but you two losers cannot be for real. Unfortunately, this is as real as it gets. These people are criminals who threaten our way of life and on our property prices. Они думают, что могут приехать сюда в поисках лучшей жизни для себя и своей семьи. Это противоречит Конституции. Come one, come all, I say. This country's got bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> well, that's because you've been brainwashed by the secular media. Don't you worry, though. We'll convert you. My brother showed some, uh, well, let's just call it sexual weakness in his younger days. But now he's a happily married man with three children, and he rarely acts out. Well, they must be inside. Go see if you can flush them out, Trevor. Is there any place in the world I'd rather be than drunk as a skunk at the Alamo Sea? Whatever. Hey, you're banned. Is anyone not banned? Oh, this is pointless. Everyone in here has done something illegal. Hey, Trevor, get out here now! They're in that car. Let's go. Why are we stopping? Go, go! Let, let's bring him in, boys. Here, take the stun gun. Really? Nobody needs to die here. We're civilized people. Keep those stun guns at the ready, my friend. They're probably gang members. I heard that some of these undesirables are trafficking illegal guns into our very, very peaceful country. Mmm. Now, who do a thing like that? Hold on to your pointed hats! We're taking the scenic route! They're a law unto themselves! Hey! Hey, you! Politelli! Stop the vehicle! This is a citizen's arrest! Well, of course they wouldn't understand me, now would they, Joseph? Они отказываются ассимилироваться? Sounds like they're having a lot more fun in their car. Well, look at them, drunk out of their minds, on Uncle Sam's dime. И население страны, осквернение коренного населения. Это не по-американски. I don't know. They come here taking our job. All those mariachi singer jobs have been stolen. They don't just take one. No. Some of them are doing two or three thankless low pay jobs to support their families. It's an outrage. We do not have time to stop. Look, now, now's our chance. Go subdue those illegals, Trevor. I want to see how you handle that stun gun. Sorry about that, pal. Don't apologize to them. They're the ones breaking the law here. Okay, okay. I do what you say. Oh, very nice, Trevor. Respectful, but firm. We can handle it from here. Get in the vehicle. You've had your fun. It's time to go home. If we turn on each other, they go locos. Be no more! I go with you! I don't want to rain on your parade, but we'll never get him into the vehicle if you don't let him stand up. Well, thanks for the help, citizen. America's a little bit safer because of you. You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon.
This is the real America. Hello, who this? It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's alive, you should call him. He'll appreciate that. No, I don't want to speak to him. I just wanted to know he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. It's me, dog. Where we at? We're at Enzo Benelli, mafia guy turned real estate developer. He's bullied his way onto half the building contracts in Los Santos. Extortion, murder, labor racketeering, you name it. There's not a construction worker in town earning a livable wage right now, and Gold Coast Development is about to go under. <laughs> and let me guess, you got a personal interest in Gold Coast, right? <laughs> Anyone think you'd done this before? Uh, according to Benelli's cell phone, he's at the construction site downtown. It's done. One small problem. My source squealed. Benelli's expecting a hit. Watch yourself and go equipped. You'll have a lot of muscle. And you're telling me to calm down? I'm going to stay near the chopper. You dumb fucks do your job. I'll blaze all you fools if I have to. I'm putting you out of business, motherfuckers. You motherfucker! What are you waiting for? Shoot that son of a bitch! I'll kill you! You're leaving here alive? You wanna fuck with me? I'll lay all y'all ass down. Fuckers are there. Someone help me out here. Ah! 
Someone put a bullet in him and told him. It's taken care of, but man, that shit went south. I know. We better let this simmer now. Way too much heat. Very nice work, Franklin. Got off lucky, homie.
I know a great author who will hook us up with some additional shit. Hey. Hello, boy. What's that? You said a man is stuck in a tree. And he needs my help? Part of you would rather leave him there because he's a bit of a dick. But you're doing your civic duty. Okay, shit, show me. I've officially lost my damn mind. What, boy? He just jumped out of a fucking helicopter. His parachute fell to open? And now you kind of wish he'd missed a tree. But morality is a human construct and you are not hardwired to think that way? I can't believe I'm getting smart talked by a fucking dog. Say what? Wait, you talking about my kind of bitches or yours? This shit is getting weird now, man. You wasn't wrong. Look at this fool. Oh, shit. Hey, bro. <laughs> you mind giving me a hand here? Man, that's a cool ass dog you got, homie. What dog? That dog that saved your saved your ass, man. Dude, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. What the fuck? Hello. <laughs> when you got a moment. Here My you. bad, dog. <sighs> Oh. oh, 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 man, that was wild. <sighs> Woo! See, I'm not an adrenaline junkie. I'm a control junkie. Yeah, that parachuting is intense, man. And hey, if along the way I figure out what it means to be alive, well then, let's just make this a little spiritual and say I'm on a thought journey. <laughs> shit, nothing helps me think clearly like shit myself while I'm heading towards a certain death, man. Then you're up for it. Not really, dog. Shit, I respect gravity. Oh, I knew you were a pussy. Come on. It's safe, I promise you. Safer than driving a car. The only way it's safer is if you drive a car out of a fucking airplane. Come on! Let's go! Here comes my pilot! Let's next level this shit! Yo, Jeff! You wanna take a bit longer next time, dude? Man, fuck, I gotta learn how to say no. You take the left side, man! Dominator, and a parachute to stop you from dying. All aboard? Okay, Jeff, round two, set her up. Run to that, buddy, uh, you sure you're okay? That last one was in fucking sight. Dude, how crazy was that? I was dropping like a dot-com stock in late 2000. Cat out of the window. Tell me you got it, please. Tell me you got it. We gotta upload that shit right now. I'm uh, sorry, man, it's all out of focus. I couldn't keep you in the shot. I, I thought you'd press for show. Oh man, I could hear myself screaming, but inside, I was ice cold, totally present in the moment. Like for a few seconds, I saw everything, and it all made sense! You know what I mean? Like everything! Shit, man, until your crazy ass hit that tree. Dude, did I choose the tree, or did the tree choose me? You know what I'm saying? The journey that matters, not the destination. Am I right, Jeff? Dominator, buddy. You are the Dominator. Because in the case of skydiving, shit, the destination seems kind of important to me. So <laughs> what syllabus did you rock? AFS? You all good with the PLS? Say like, what? What's your training background? Man, I found your crazy dumbass in the tree, and now I'm here. That's all the background your ass need to know. Virgin in the drop zone! I'm in, in the hole! <laughs> no, but seriously, I got you. Don't sweat it. It's not rocket science, although... It is, in some
some ways. But I'm talking metaphorically. Like, like you with that dog. I didn't get that, by the way. Wait, wait, hold on, man. So you telling me you had no memory of a fucking dog? Dude, <laughs> there you go again. It's off kilter, and I dig that about you. But we need to get on the same page, bud. Strategize and synergize. You feel me? Like the double helix. Man, all I'm feeling is regret on a whole new level. Take the tampon out, bro. It's like riding a bike, except at 100 miles an hour head first towards the ground. You can't go wrong. Am I right, Jeff? Statistically, saving than having a wank. What the hell? Yeah, man, you can totally get infections, you know? If you leave it too long between washes and, you know, yeah, it's a bad thing. Trust me, okay? Okay, guys, let's keep this hetero. <laughs> All you need to do is pull that ripcord there. Ideally, before you hit the dirt. So there's only one thing to remember, right? But your ass managed to forget it on your last die. Oh, 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 funny guy. Yeah, we'll see who's laughing when you're spraying out of both ends. I got a hundred on a code brown, Jeff. <laughs> Guaranteed. All right, I'm gonna jump second. Get that chocolate rainbow on Phil. Man, you two are dicks. <laughs> hey, you, you see that mountain up ahead? That's our DC. Our what? Drop zone, dude. Get with the acronym, seriously. So if you check your rig, man, I don't know that one either. No, your rig, your pack, your fucking suit, bro. Every diver checks his own rig. Something goes wrong, it's on you. Wait, man, so how the hell do I... Okay, no more talking. We gotta get our minds in the game. Eyes on the prize. Think about gravity. Switch off before we switch on, you know what I'm saying? It's you against nature out there. There can only be one winner. Man, what the hell am I doing here? shake.
Yeah, I damn near killed myself, and you wasn't even pushing it. Whatever, bro. I know this bike. I know this body. I was operating at the perimeter of my parameters, and you were being reckless. And now you're having a winch. A what? Listen, meet me by the airport when you're grown up here, all right? Please, baby, I know I was an asshole, okay? Just take one of my calls one day, okay? Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but uh, this... this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You? You don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off! Listen, I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, Weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes. Woo. Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. All right.
I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Get in the car. Let me call Lester. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, hey. Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why, well, be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon? The skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're talking bullshit. And you're trying to wind me up. But I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Come on, man, knock it off. What? Yeah. 
I'm gonna break your fucking fingers you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. I like it. Man, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, no, no. Uh uh. No. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay. I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Services frequency, we have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Polito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor or shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Polito Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops guarding dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm, possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not! We're still faster than your ass! Well, I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. You're right. I shouldn't have come. I should have known. We're fine. We're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. Not at all. Look. Take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Uh, dirt track. Might get bumpy. When Trevor says office, he really means... A burnout gas station by the Alamo Sea? I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab, just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Great! Nothing like a pharmaceutical bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. Look, you had any ideas about the bank? Are you sure we can't disable the alarm? The alarm is a UXVF-111 classification, minute-long relay interval, third-party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it. But? But it'll cost more than the job is worth. Of course it will. So, 
What do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You've been day trading? Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. No, God, no. I mean, yeah, 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 I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so, there's this research laboratory on the coast. The IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope that the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible, but what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County Savings and Loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the lab. And guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, well, I don't really see, but I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it? Or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talking? Taking the cops head on messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? Guys out here aren't trained like the LSPD. They aren't going to be prepared for a well-armed, well-drilled team coming straight for them. Yeah, well, we need an edge. Something to tip the odds in our favor. Yeah, I got a couple ideas. <laughs> All right. Well, we got here before the Lord of the Manor. <laughs> the man slows me down, always has. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. There you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Ah, think about my buddy Chef, okay? Consummate professional. He handled himself at the jewelry store. You sure this is the guy? That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want to bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I'll get a motel, thanks. All right, suit yourself. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Okay. Adios, amigos. Hmm? Hmm. Oh. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man.
Hey, Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom, too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Your daddy's been a bad boy. Please, son. <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> oh. <laughs> now, see, the way I see it, this country was built by and for gasoline. So I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by, you know, doing this stuff. Oh, man. It's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Uh, fuck oh. you. So where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, 10 years in the sun, your brain has melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, yeah, oh, sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. on. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. Apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, huh? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boys. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't. Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. What is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guys, Mikey. Tailing. If he's back in Sandy Shores, why didn't I hear about him? God damn it! Shit! They see us, man. We gotta stay on. <laughs> no, Chuck. We can't deal with them yet. It's too many of them. Hey, man, me and Chop on these punks. We coming up to WH, north of two miles. All right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo, when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are gonna take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Frank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these business stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Fucking hell! Hell! Shit, shit, shit! Hey, let's roll on this food, Chop. Do it. Oh, 
Oh, shit! Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support, like, right fucking now. Don't worry. Incoming! Incoming? Man, you're all business. Yeah, well, this is kind of important. These men don't like me, and they know we're back in the sandy shore, so... Here she is, the Biz Alley. Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Look, why do these guys, the O'Neills, want you dead anyway? There was a deal, the contract to end all contracts, serious multinational stuff. I was this close, and they stole it off me. Hold up. If they stole your business, why do they want you dead? Wow! What's with all the questions? Can't you just take my side for once? Hey, I'm coming along for the ride, ain't I? Yeah, but I sense your heart ain't in it. Yeah, I'm lucky my heart ain't in a pie on your kitchen table. Always with the quips! You're such a depressing cynic! Oh, poor Trevor! I'm sorry I'm a human being with thoughts and feelings and emotions. Wait a second. I remember this chopper. We used this to break into the IAA building. You stole it from the FIB? Not so. I took it in lieu of payment. There was a rifle on board too, so if your panties aren't all in a twist over stolen office supplies, can you please use it to scan the forest for the O'Neills? Oh, I'm your hitman now. I'm not gonna force you, Michael. You don't wanna help? You can get out right now. Hey, hey! We here on the ground. Them hick dudes in the woods. That model's fitted with a thermal scope. Look for their heat signatures.
This one is fucking Help! I got your back! Back! Just let me know! You going down, you asshole! I felt that, we close! Get him, child. Fuck his ass up. I'm the last of my... Last guy's done, homie. All right. Stay there. We'll come down and pick you up. All right. Now that the angry hillbillies with rockets are dead, is there anyone else we should worry about trying to kill you? Oh, sure. Yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezo's people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular. Come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're going to bar this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Casa Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Conservative. Man, what the fuck are we doing here? Nothing. Okay, a little something that's gonna help me get some tail from those Midwestern ladies that I get to meet online. Let's pretend for a second that you're not so much of a pussy and vamos, as my cleaning lady would say. Uh, just to be clear, uh, I'm not racist. I, I meant that ironically. I, uh, I have a black friend, and uh, I didn't even really notice that you were black, uh, or whatever your people call hey, get it. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> let's roll! Let's roll where? Catch you on the flip side, buddy. Yo, you see that? Half the airport's on the Dominator's payroll today. Better bond fast with that beauty, because you two are going tandem. 
I didn't bring my idiot translator. What the fuck are you talking about? You're driving that hunk of metal and gasoline out of a cargo plane! I'm doing fucking what? We're spirit brothers, homie! Two sides, one coin! You can't bail on me now! Yeah! We got liftoff! As soon as we hit a suitably stupid altitude, we'll kamikaze this shit into next week. Am I right? Come on, high five! Hell no, nah, man, shit, I don't want you to be the last person I touch. Uh, yeah, okay, Air 5 then. Parachute, check. ATV, check. Big pair of balls, uh, uh, check. Okay, this is happening. Come on, let's fucking do this. Right on these bad boys. Here comes the game changer. It was way too intense! Lightning bolt, zap! You're alive! You know how it feels! <laughs> Man, I know how it feels to ride an ATV out of a damn airplane. Man, how much that shit cost you per second? <laughs> it's relative, bro. How long did it take me to earn the bills? Listen, you go out walking amongst the drones. I'll be on top of the maze bank building with the higher beings. Dominator out! I need a cab as soon as possible. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Cool. Hit the road. Come on, let's go. Buckle up. All right, brother, here we are. Like me, strong, silent, dead, a tough motherfucker who people don't. Are you watching? This is safer than crossing the street. <sighs> shit, bullshit. Well, less people have died doing this than crossing the street. How about that? <laughs> they called me insane when I said sell all your American equities. And now look at this shithole. <sighs> Come on, lady boy. 
Let's go. Oh. Yeah! History coming at you live! Aim for that flatbed truck down there. Truck? What fucking truck? The one that's accelerating, duh. Ain't no problem. Oh, Captain Conservative actually jumped. I figured you'd take the elevator. Dude, it's me, Jeff. No way. The Dominator didn't make it. Anyway, I'm going to drop you off at the rendezvous spot, all right? You overcooked it, huh? Shit. I'm the king, the emperor, the supreme being of overcooking. I'll incinerate whatever you put in front of me. Boom! Nuke that shit. Man, I was just saying you missed a truck, dawg. Maybe a gust of wind or something, that's cool. Nah, it ain't cool. Land at reservoir now, bitch. We'll set the sliders to maximum and bust your tiny little processor. Poof! I'm gone. Don't become no murder case now, nigga. Oh, shit! Check out the guys who fucked up. Some of these names are still going today. What the fuck? Should be able to fit in one more jump before my shift's up.
I think this was a good idea.